Oh yeah. Here we, we're live. We're live with Plant Based and the Burbs. What you got there? <laughs> okay. I was off guard. I didn't know what was going on. Hey everybody. <laughs> I got some beautiful king, um, they call them king mushrooms, king oyster, or I guess you could say trumpet too. Boop, boop, boop. Like, you know, they have um different names different people and some beautiful kale mm. smells so good smells so good how's everybody out there <laughs> hey everybody we are plant-based in the birds i'm paige parsons roach and i am sherry sheree welcome welcome into our kitchen today what you got over there oh my gosh i just went and picked these up these are specialty microgreens that are amazing for salads, or you can throw them into your smoothies. I'm gonna be making a delicious artichoke heart, oh. fishless, fishy flavor, like tuna salad, but it's it's a it's a it's an artichoke salad. So it's it like a sandwich. I'm gonna make a oh. sandwich. Oh, cool. Okay, okay, cool. So I'm making <laughs> calamari. I don't know if you guys remember, but I used when I was younger, I used to go to Fridays all the time. And I would get their fried calamari. So since we're on the fish and seafood, sea food uh, trend, I decided <laughs> to be adventurous and uh, do a calamari out of these beautiful mushrooms here. And also, um, I mentioned earlier that I was I am in a clubhouse challenge. I don't know how I got into that, I don't, but anyway. I am in it to win it. So yes, yes she's going to win it. Vote for Sherry. <laughs> so so Sherry. Anyway, I, I am going to be making a wonderful dressing made out of white beans, Kalini beans, northern beans, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and that was one of the ingredients we needed. Also, Kalamala olives is also going to be in the dressing to kind of give it that nice salty flavor. And I made this beautiful, beautiful green salad that we're going to put that dressing over the top and okay. make sure it goes with our calamari. So that's what I'm cooking up in the kitchen today. Okay, <laughs> so let me just say yours. This is what's so much fun is I love how we bounce off each other because mine's going to be a, a raw and yours is going to be a cook. So we got that's something right. for everybody here in the kitchen today. So I'm going to be using these micro beans. You can get these at a farmer's market. A lot of markets are actually packaging them as well. What, 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 what's going on in that pit? What? This is like a line. What, it, what how, how did you do that? Okay, so I got to show you. So go ahead and tell okay. everyone what you're doing. And then I can show everyone how I made this beautiful calamari. Okay, well, I took a can of artichoke hearts, y'all. I found this on Alicia V. She's got a great Instagram. Y'all got to go check it out. So I'm taking a nod from her artichoke hearts. I'm going to use my fork. I'm going to add some mustard, add some veginase, add some seasonings, right? And then put it on a sandwich and do like a traditional, I don't know about you, but when I was a little girl, youngin', my mom and my grandmother and I would sit down and listen to some radio show, some news radio show that my grandmother loved. It was boring and all get up, but I, <laughs> I out. but she would make me a tuna melt. Oh, I, it was one of my favorites. Right? But once you see Seaspiracy, you know. No, no more. No. Right? Exactly, Tom. Exactly, Tom. Tom, Tina. Oh Hi, my God. Everybody. But right. you know what? You can make a still, you can make that tuna melt. Yes. Tuna less melt. Tuna less melt. So we got the fishless, fishy, yummy, delicious. We're bringing you live. We're bringing you recipes. I'm so excited. Sherry, take it away. Okay. Go. Okay. All right. so this is the calamari. This is just insane. So what I did was I'm going to try to show you. Uh, I'm going to just move my computer around a little bit. Uh, I don't want you in my kitchen, in my living room. But what I did was I went on and sliced the, the um, mushrooms. I sliced the mushrooms. And I didn't have a small cookie cutter. You could use a small cookie cutter. I just used a small spoon, a metal spoon. And I just pressed it in the center and cut out the little hole. Of course, it's not going to act right now. 
That is so clever. Look at you. So right cut it right out. And there you go. You got your calamari. So I also seasoned it with all the flavor and seasonings of the sea. We have Obey. I did Obey on there. I don't really measure. So, you know, I just sprinkled it on there. I did some kelp seasoning, some dose flakes, because I really wanted to kind of taste like you know, seafood. I did, Cappies is one of my favorite uh, spi uh, spices. It's a spicy. We did some smoked, uh, smoked paprika. Nami, I mean, I just threw everything I had almost in my cabinet. Um, this one, I got this seasoning from when I was on Clubhouse. They were talking about seasonings that you should have in your house. This is pretty good. That 21 seasoning salute. Uh, you can get this at Trader Joe's. Of course, you have to have garlic powder. Yeah. What I'm doing in the mix, uh, the mix is flour, cornstarch, garlic, pretty much the same seasonings. And then I'm going to add a cup of club soda. We're going to stir it up and we're going to make a batter. And I already have my oil warming up, getting hot. And then you can toss them like four or five minutes, not even maybe that long, and we should be done. So I'm going to go ahead and see what Paige is cooking up over there. And I'm going to go ahead and mix my batter and go from there. Okay, well, I'm taking that artichoke heart, y'all, and I'm just going to move my fork. Now, you can put this into a food processor, but I kind of wanted to show how you can do this without a food processor because not a, not everybody has a food processor, right? That's right. That's right. And a can of artichoke hearts are pretty easy to get. You can also, let me show you some of the other options to make this kind of salad here. Oh, you can do the garbanzo beans. You know what else? I heard you mention white beans, and you could do the cannelli white beans as well. You can also do a jackfruit. All right, you're going to strain this. This one is the brine. I think this is the one that has the brine. So you want to make sure you want the brine for the water. Yeah. It, but if you don't, you just rinse it over the top. You put water over the top. And then also there's the hearts of palm, you know, right? So check that out. Oh, my goodness. So we are making fishless delights because if you have not seen it yet, we invite you all to watch Seaspiracy. And I'll tell you something while I'm cutting this up. Not cutting it, but I'm using up. I'm making my batter. So you go right ahead. All right, you're making that, I'm making this. So let me just say, I watched Cowspiracy, and that was my entrance into veganism. I watched it with my daughter who had gone vegan. She had seen some videos about the truth, and she decided to go vegan, and then that was at 13, 13 years old. Six months later, took me six months, let me say, to sit down and watch Cowspiracy. I felt like she had dropped enough little you know, truth bombs kind of just having me be curious about um, what she was talking about. I got to add some more artichokes in here because I'm going to make the whole thing. Why not? Because this is going to last. Why not? Why not? I realize I actually could add celery to this, but I wasn't going to, but you could. So I would add celery if I was doing the chickpeas, right? The right, right, right. And how many of you out there have made alternative you know, fishless, fishy flavored delights that are plant-based. So tell us in the chat what you might have made already. Yeah. Okay. Bonanza marathon. I don't know what you mean by that, but oh, you were texting. <laughs> you were texting <laughs> mom. Oh, <we're> tall. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Lisa has a comment, a couple of comments in here. Lisa, we're not going to address that right now. I'd have to do a little bit more research. We're going to stick to making this food. But thank you, Lisa, for bringing that. She brought some uh, information up about some laws in California and animals and abuse. And, you know, we're all oh, okay. being activists out there and making change. Um, we are, we're, I'd like to do some more research on that. So you can go ahead and DM me directly if you like, Lisa. Um, yeah, oh, what's this? Scallops and oyster mushroom? Stacy. Yes. Look at you, Stacy. Uh, Tom, tell us about your Christmas crab cakes, Tom. What do you make them with? Let me hear. Oh, yes, that sounds good. I love that. Because I've made the Sophie's, for those of you that are brand new to plant-based in the burr, we welcome you every week. Just come on in our kitchen. We, we bring you in. We give you plant-based information. We encourage you to eat more plants. I also want to give a shout-out to Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. 
I uh, got this sticker, and if you follow them, you will get a ton, a plethora of incredible information. So I did want to give a shout out to Plant uh, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, PCRM, because they have videos, they have info. You wouldn't believe it. It's just amazing. Okay, yeah, chickpeas and hearts of palm. Tom, yeah. Tom, share the recipe. I mean, come on, let's do it. And yeah, then so great. Can you add neri? What's neri? I don't know what that is. You mean nori? Oh, yeah. Nori. Oh, yeah, nori right here. We got some nori right here. You can always add your nori. I'm not going to do it with nori today. I'm going to actually not do it, but I did bring it to show you the sheets. I love to I did, I did one, too, that was already ready. Ooh. It, was a, it was a little bitter chunk, so I just put it in my neutral bullet and, and pulverized it a little bit so it looks like a seasoning. And I put that on the on the calamari and also in the batter so ah okay good Ooh, up over here Woo <laughs> i hear it i hear it here i'm going to give you full screen so we can see what's happening over there okay. so, so this is this is the batter uh, yeah what's in the batter Jerry? what's in there what's the batter? And the batter is uh one cup of flour one cup of corn corn starch and uh, then all the seasonings that I mentioned that I seasoned the calamari with, I also put that in the batter. And then I use, it called for one cup of uh, cup soda, but you know, you use what you need to get the batter, the consistency that you want. And then you just batter it and dump it right on into the hot oil. I used, uh, today I used the sapphire, sapphire, sunflower oil. I used sunflower oil. I got that at Trader Joe's. And so, you know, we'll see how this turns out. I've never made this before. I'm excited. And then I'll make, once we get some of these done, then I'll make my dressing for my beautiful salad part of my challenge. And I'm excited. I'm excited that this is uh, turning out pretty good. And it's cooking up over here. Yeah, you are. So I wanted to show that this is a full can of the artichoke hearts, everybody. You can put it into your pulverizer, but I wanted it to be sort of flaky like this, a little chunky. I'm going to add some of my mayonnaise, mayonnaise, all right, about a cup. So there you go. You can always do a little bit less if you want. Maybe just do like some rice vinegar. It's up to you. It's up to yeah. your taste, taste buds. Adding some mustard for sure. Oh, some my food. favorite. Oh, yeah, definitely the old bays going in here. We've got a little bit of pepper. I'm definitely a pepper lover. We've got to get some pepper in there. And I like to use the real salt. I, I do love my oh, Yeah, I have. Oh, do I have that one too? I do. Yeah. And, ta -da! Ta -da! and I'm going to put all this onto my Dave's Killer Bread. You guys know I love my Dave's Killer Bread. We're going to put it on my bread. Dave's Killer. Uh, yeah, yeah Dave's Killer Bread is good. It's really good. Yeah, they even have like English muffins now. And yeah, they I have those. I bought those. I used them. I oh, used, I bought the English muffin and I made like an egg neck muffin sandwich, you know, with just eggs and then a sausage, uh, like a garden or Beyond Beef, Beyond Meat, I think it is. Salt, breakfast sausages, toast up the bun, put some avocado on there, some arugula, and boom, and you can even do cheese. Okay. Make and cheese, rather. Yes. In fact, if you wanted to make it a full tuna melt, which I'm not going to do today, but I did bring my tomato, my heirloom. So this is from the farmer's market. Definitely get heirloom tomatoes. They tend to be less um, kind of altered, let's say, altered states. So oh, okay. that's my understanding. But, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I that's what I find. I just like they just are so imperfect. And I like that they're imperfect like me, yeah. um, you know. I kind yeah, of like them too. I mean, I'm just really thinking about putting a garden in my backyard because, yeah. I mean, you know, what the best way to do is to grow your own vegetables if you can. That's yeah. what we're starting. We're starting a garden. So if you can, you know, just start simply like these, these sprouts, which are really, really not sprouts. I'm sorry. They're greens. The difference is the sprouts you have to sprout and the greens you can grow in, uh, in dirt, you know, in soil. So, but the microgreens, if you look them up, are high, high in nutrients. And you mm -hmm. can grow these in your own garden, your own backyard, um, like that. So, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, you want to see it? Oh, you want to see a, oh, a Facebook live on starting a garden. Okay. Okay, Kevin. We might okay. just. That, that, that would be interesting. I might have to look at that one too, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Go to tutorial, but love it. Grow your own. Yeah, that's right. All year round. That's correct. And if anybody out there has gardening tips, give it to them now. Just put it in the chat because we're chatting it up here in the chat. Yeah. All right. So we are a weekly show here on Jane Unchained News. Yes. And we are also, we have a, a huge website, janeunchained.com, where you can get a ton of recipes, y'all. Just go over there and head into Lunch Break Live. You can uh, just click. You can also uh, search our names. And we both have shows that we've done before over there. And you'll get the recipe. You can even print out the recipe, y'all. And you can share it with others. Yeah. So, yeah. So you know that. I want everybody to know that. Um, a segment in composting. Yes, I got, I got you on that. I got you yeah, on that. You're good at that one, right, Paige? I've never done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Composting is the best thing ever. And I have a compost expert that we can um, bring in for sure. Hey, I wanted to show something while I, you know, I'll get over there to that in just a second. But look what came with my veggie grill. Plant-based to the rescue. And I wanted to read this off. When you go plant-based for just one month, right? This is what you can save. You can save 33,481 gallons of water. That's a wow. lot of water. 600, 620 pounds of CO2. Okay. 1,370 pounds of grain. 30 animals' lives. And 913 square feet of forested land. Okay. I'm just saying, shout out to Veggie Grill. They're doing That's a, nice. That's nice. They're doing a plant-based party this weekend. I think it starts, maybe it starts tomorrow. If you go to support and feed, check out support and feed because you can um, contribute money via veggie grill. And they basically provide meals for people, plant-based meals for people in need. And they're doing like a, like a plant-based party. So if you post a picture, I think, of your vegan food or something, then you they get money. From oh, this okay, so everything you post, they, someone donates. Yes, yes. Earth Month, it's Earth Month is our favorite month. We want to help you go plant-based for the planet this month. And there's new reward and whatnot. You can unlock, lock it, unlock Earth Month. So you know what, I, Paige, I don't mean to interrupt you right now, but I'm going to give you the full screen. I'm going to go make my dressing. So we have some already come out, calamari's already done. So I just want to get the dressing done. So... You can keep chatting about that and I'll go over because I have to pulverize some stuff. I'll be right back. Okay. She's coming right back, y'all. While we're at, oh, whoops, that was the wrong way to go. There we go. Okay, she's muted. We can't hear her blender, but she is blending it up. Debbie, I love it. You made jackfruit with mushroom gravy and peas. Awesome. That sounds amazing. I just wanted to give a shout out to New Day New Chef. If you haven't seen the show, also, this is a Jane Unchained show. Um, and it won two taste awards. And many of you voted. And we won the two awards that were viewer choice awards, everybody. So thank you. Thank you out there. I helped Associate produce the first season. And so exciting. There's also a support and feed season as well. So very exciting. Go over to Amazon Prime. Check out New Day New Chef for more recipes. All right. Now, I'm going to mute her again. Let's go ahead and put the veginase in. I like veginase, but there's a lot of brands now that are making vegan mayo. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. You can kind of see it's chunky. I'm kind of going for the chunky aspect today. And oh, yeah, just mixing it up. I'm going to add that mustard. Who likes, who likes mustard out there? I love mustard, right? I love mustard. Um, okay, I'm just going to put some squirts in there. And I'm going to add some salt because you just want a teeny bit of salt in there. I'm going to add some Old Bay because why not? It's got that, you know, flavor. We have this tin forever. Mix it up. I mean, this is pretty basic mixing it up. Now, again, you could do this with the chickpeas. You can do this with the hearts of palm. And you can also do this with jackfruit. And this is the artichoke hearts. Yes, Tom, thank you. You did vote for New Day New Chef Support and Feed uh, and New Day New Chef for our fabulous, amazing show that we have on called New Day New Chef on Amazon Prime. All right, so what other kind of shows do you want to see? Put it out there. Put it on. We're going to hear about it. Sherry, are you on now? Let's I am on. I'm back. I just 
went and did my little dressing. Okay. Um, I got. I want to show you what this calamari looks like. It's freaking amazing. Okay. I'm going to taste this with a spoon and see. Oh, let's see. Oh, come on. Wait, let me give you full screen. That looks this like is crazy. Look at that. It looks like unbelievable, right? Yep. Insane. I can't believe it. Mushrooms, you guys, just mushrooms. Simple, easy, no harm to the plant. They smell amazing. Just, mm, I can't wait to eat them. So, wow. It's crazy. I feel like this might be a keeper. I, I really like it. So it looks like a restaurant made those. I'm telling you. Oh, we did right here. Sherry Cherie's kitchen. <laughs> All the way facing the birds. Okay. Cherie. Cherie. So, <laughs> real Chef Cherie is so cute. Okay. <laughs> I actually really like that. Chef Cherie. Hey, I wanted to give a shout out to okay. um, Kraut. Okay. I don't know if you all make your own Kraut. You can make your own. This is a great brand. There's a lot of them out there, but I like to get them in a glass jar with a metal lid. That's the most eco-friendly. Yeah. And to put kraut, the sauerkraut is so good for your body. There's a ton of nutrients in it. It helps with your microbiome, helps with your gut. Yes. So, oh, Tom says you might need a little lemon juice on those calamari. I agree. I have lemon juice already ready, Tom. And I also have some spicy sriracha dip. So I am... Rete, okay. <laughs> Let me see this shirt. Show us your shirt. That is such a great shirt. Look at More this. Love. You never get enough of that, right? Never, never get enough of love. That's what we need in this world. More love. More love and more and thirty minutes of workout. Everybody, get out there and walk. That's what Sherry's always telling us. Yeah. Ooh, this stuff is popping and popping. This is a little Myers lemon, y'all, that I have growing out in my yard. And I was blessed when we moved to my yard. We had two of these trees growing. And uh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Smells so good. I'm going to squeeze a little of this in my, what I'm making over yeah. here. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to grab my plate, too. Okay. Uh, so um, what do I want to say? Yeah. What do you want to say? I'm just glad everyone is here. I'm glad people are coming in to our kitchen and just seeing what we do every day. Uh, this is just part of our lifestyle to put this way. And I'm sure a lot of people who are on the show are commenting. This is what you do for your life as well. And we just want to inspire others to check us out. Try it because you don't know things, what they're like until you least try it, you know. And so, um, you know, I, I try to encourage my friends to at least try to do a meatless Monday or if they ask for any type of recipes that I have that may be easy and simple because most people always say, oh, it's vegan. You have to cook so much. It's so much work. It's so much this. It's so much that. But really, if you enjoy eating good, healthy food, you can make quick, simple recipes less than 30 minutes. All you have to do is Google. And there's so many uh, recipes there, whatever you're looking to eat, you can find it. Just Google vegan this, vegan that, vegan recipe for this, and you can find it because there's so many amazing chefs out there that are uh, playing around with all types of different uh, recipes. So, I mean, there's just, you can never get bored, really, if you just start just searching for new things to eat. So that's kind of what I do because after a while, you do start making the same thing all the time and you do get bored, you know, so... It's like plan. You need to plan your meal. Well, I got to say, this turned out really good. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> so good. I just tasted some. The only thing is I'm thinking I'm actually going to add the chickpeas to it. You know why? Yeah. Because so that's good. That's good. I've seen a recipe like that. Artichoke <laughs> chickpeas together. Okay. Okay. So, but here's what happened is that I didn't just drain them enough. I think what you got to do is mush, mush, mush. And then drain again because I didn't. So I think what happened is it got a little bit more watery than I would like on my bread. You know, you can also wrap it up in a nice wrap like a tortilla. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. That would be great. And if right? you put a lot of greens in there, it might soak it up a little bit. That's true, too. Good point. Kevin, yes. Any tips on how to turn your kids vegan? You know what I just learned the other day, Kevin? I'm going to tell you right now. But before I tell you. Uh, <laughs> 
going to hold up my greens again because I know some people just joined. So I want to um, shout out to the microgreens and Sarishi Potluri, Dr. Sarishi Potluri. Check her out. Her son and she, when they went into quarantine, started doing this. So her son, I believe he's 15, um, he is helping make these. And so this is his creation from the garden, but he tends to and they, they reuse all the all the you know craze and everything. It's just so inspiring. But I wanted to say, Kevin, this this is cool. Wait, I'm hearing something over there. Sherry, are you blending? Huh? Are you blending? No. Can you hear me? Yeah. Something's going. That's the that's the stuff cooking in the salad. Our fries calamari. <laughs> it's so loud. I, okay, I'm just cracking up over here. All right, all right. <laughs> Kevin, here's the scoop. I would show them Ok Okja. Okja, the movie Okja is a great movie for kids to see. Um, and I would talk to them about how they love animals, how they love animals, and how they um, personally nobody really when they really touch into their hearts. We don't really want to eat animals because they love animals. They love their dogs. They love their cats, maybe birds, bunnies, uh, even cows, pigs, and chickens. When you see kids see them, they absolutely love and connect with them. So show them maybe some sanctuary videos as well of animals. You can DM me and I'll, I'll help you out with that. But also if you're, if you want to sneak veggies in a zucchini is super easy to kind of blend up and throw into things to get some more greens in there. Also spinach because spinach, if you put it with other things, you chop it up really small. It doesn't have a whole lot of like pow flavor palette, but the nutrients are amazing. Um, we just did a lunch break live with a gal the other day who has a, a six-year-old son and she would, she had so many hacks. So again, Kevin, you can totally reach out to me. Sherry, what are your thoughts on any tips how to turn your kids well, vegan? It, just, it really depends on how old they are, right? Um, it just depends on how old. So if you have small kids, it's very easy to actually incorporate into their diet because someone's cooking their meal for them and you just put that in, you just put that on their plate. You know, you try to make it more creative and make it look more delicious and then yeah. have them eat it. But when you get to teenagers, you know, uh, preteen, teens, they are probably more apt to uh, connect with the movies because once you show them what is really happening, then, it may not happen suddenly. You know, it's just like you plant a seed, right? You have to keep watering it and then it grows. And then eventually they will see the light. So, I mean, you have to do that. I mean, I have a son that, you know, he goes back and forth, but you know what? You have, Ultimately, they have to make their own decision like everything, you know, and you want to encourage them to try to live a more vegan lifestyle. So, I mean, you know, when they get to the point to make their own choices, you can just keep you know, introducing them or when they come to your house, you know, this is all you're eating in my house. Like when people come to my house, they can just forget it. You know, when you come in here, there's no animals in here. You're going to eat what I cook or otherwise you have to eat outside because it, it's not allowed in my house. So, I mean, you know, so those kind of things you have to, you know, that's the only thing I can do, but my son went vegan before I did. So my, uh, my youngest one, my youngest one went vegan before I did. And so, and he's uh, 26 now and he's still a vegan and he is very passionate about, you know, the, uh, the uh, what's happening to the earth, what's happening to the animals, what's, what's happening to people. And so um, that keeps him on the track. So there you go. There you go. And oh. and Kevin, if you don't mind, just write in how old uh, are your kids? I'm just curious. And yep. uh, I just want to say hi to everybody that's here. We got Tina, Tom, Christy, Kevin. Um, and I know there's others that I can't see. Debbie. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. And yeah, it's so fun to see Stacy with two E's. I love it. And uh, let's see, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. And anybody else out there, just write in the comments because I can't see it from Facebook. Doesn't tell me who's watching, but yeah, so um, I can't see it either. But I'm yeah. gonna grab my salad. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna jot right. over there. I can't wait to make those. Oh my oh, gosh. God, that's so easy. I can't wait to eat it either. But Tom, I'm gonna cut my lemon too and I'm gonna bring out my spicy ah, sriracha mayo, okay? To go over on those calamari. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, she's coming right back. All right, so we're going to go back to me with the solo screen. And you remember what I said? I'm actually going to, well, let me just show everybody again. I'm going to add these garbanzo beans to my mixture, but you can also make what I made so simple. It's it's like three ingredients, four ingredients. The artichoke hearts are going in. We've got our hearts of palm as well, but I'm going to add the chickpeas. I'm going to add the chickpeas to this mixture, right? And then also you can do a jackfruit and, you know, lots of jackfruit. This has tons and tons and tons of protein. Um, and like I said, I just added a little bit of the a vegan mayo. I added lots of seasoning, as I'll show you in a second. Actually, not lots, just three. And I put some spicy mustard. So all I did was three. It's so good. I added, boom, salt, boom, a little bit, a little bit some pepper, and some old bay. So that's it. It's easy and it's tasty. So I would put the bread. Oh, I wanted to show you something really quickly. Don't go anywhere. Have you ever tried? Chow cheese. Oh, yes. This is one of my favorite. It's by the brand Field Coast. And they also have a great bacon, like a vegan bacon. And you can tell how much we love it because there's a slice left. <laughs> so I do want to say this one's really good. And it's the creamy, what was it called? The creamy original. Uh, yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. So to put it on your tuna belt, right? Okay, so if you're just joining us, Sherry Cherie is making a delicious calamari over there and uh, some kind of gorgeous salad in a special. Oh, yeah, look at the salad. So my salad, oh, my God, the salad is, I have to tell you what's in it. It's kale, romaine, uh, white beans, um, edamame, yeah, uh, orange bell pepper, uh, mixed greens, cucumbers, cranberries and the calamari of olives are in the salad and this and my challenge i had to make something with the white beans and the calamari of olives uh and you know another eat ingredients was pasta i don't eat a lot of pasta so i decided to you know try to oh greens was another one so we wanted to make greens so i made this dressing we're going to see how this turns out and the dressing ooh, it's gotten a little thick i might have to add a little water to it but it's uh, white beans, uh, shallots, shallots, lemon, lime, um, calamala olives. Uh, what else did I put in there? Um, some ground pepper, salt and pepper, uh, some garlic. Um, hmm, I think that's what I put in there. And of course the white beans. And then I blend it all up with some, I use some uh, avocado oil instead of olive oil. And that's what made the dressing. And so here is the calamari. So I'm going to finish up dressing my plate because I want to put some of this sriracha mayo that I made uh, myself here. So I'm going to add that to the plate and we should be almost ready to eat it. And I can't wait to try it. Ooh, 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 ooh yummy scrummy. So I, <laughs> did you see that cute little dance? Uh -huh. Plant-based in the birds. Herbs, yeah. Herbs. Okay, so I added my chickpeas. I'm going to smoosh, smoosh, smoosh. Now, I wanted to say, and I've never done this, but if you have, let me know. The inside, the what they call aquafaba, mm. the, the water from the garbanzo beans, y'all, you can make a whip. You can make like a whipped cream. You can add and make a meringue. So if you've done it, put it in the chat because I'd like to know if you've done yeah. it. You haven't done it yet. All right, but you know what? That might be a challenge, Sherry. I bet you would. I have never used that yet. I haven't, like I said. Okay, what, wait, we're back to you. That plate looks amazing. Go for it. Okay, so here we go. I, I put the calamari. We put a little dab of the sriracha mayo to uh, dip it in. So I'm going to try it. Oh, let's squeeze a little lime a lemon on here first, Tom, because you are right about that. So I'm going to try a little bit of that. That's my calamari made out of mushrooms. What do you think? Oh, wow. Oh, wow? It's a keeper. Really? Really. Oh God, you guys, did you see how easy it was? This is so exciting, Sherry. Yeah. I am definitely yeah. doing that. I went to the, uh, there's a Asian market in my neighborhood because that's the best place to buy mushrooms because they're inexpensive. Yeah. I bought a pack, I bought two packs of these. I only used four to make what, how much calamari. I still haven't finished cooking them yet. I think these, the pack was, um, Three dollars. That's it. Or two dollars. When I walked out of the store, I had spent seven dollars. Wow. Okay. Well, 
Let's do it. So if you have an Asian market in your neighborhood, I would advise you to go there and you can get your bok choy there. If you want bok choy, they have a lot of greens there. Um, different types of cabbage, like the, I think it's, is it the Napa cabbage? Uh, Napa cabbage. I mean, That's it's beautiful, beautiful vegetables there and they're inexpensive. And the mushrooms, they have tons of mushrooms there. So you can buy them for like the oyster mushrooms. If I went to like Whole Foods or Ralph's, yeah. I would pay like five or six dollars for a little bit. Yeah. You can there and get a whole pack for like three fifty. And yeah. I mean you can eat a whole family. So you know, right. it just depends on where you shop. Right. And you can find the best buy. So I would always go into the Asian markets and find some green vegetables there that you may be looking for. Japanese eggplants will be less expensive there. Your mushrooms, there are tons of mushrooms. So it's 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 just a way of shopping. So and then here's my salad with my white bean and Kamala olive dressing. You see, it looks like a little lavender, same color as the olives. And the salad has edamame, pumpkin seeds, kale, mixed greens, cucumbers, tomatoes, um, uh, cranberries, and um, that's it. And that's what I'm having for dinner. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the calamari is really, really good. It looks amazing. It's really delicious. So this is this is something that I would keep in my. I would cook this. I would cook this for some people who came to my house. This would be a great appetizer. Or even like, you know, even if you just want to make it a dinner like I did, you could do that as well. Wow. I'm showing yeah. how I'm going to put together my, my, uh, bloop, bloop, bloop. what am I doing here? My sandwich. <laughs> oh, that I looks good though. Put it on top. Get some of your beautiful lettuce. You want to go with the greener the lettuce, the more nutrients. Yeah. Just FYI, y'all can also add, you have kale in your salad, right? Yeah, I have kale. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's romaine, and then I'm gonna pop that on there. But that looks pretty tasty, right? I mean, that looks great. It looks great. I just love looking at food. <laughs> I love eating food, right? Look at I, I do. I just love vegan food. I mean, it's just nothing. I mean, it's it's just so amazing, you know. And it blows your mind when you eat something. And you go, "What is that?" And they go, "Oh, it was a mushroom. Oh, it was this." And you go, "What? what? Really?" <laughs> Right, all that flavor, all that nutritional, uh, all the great nutrition in there, and it's just you know, awesome. <laughs> well, and I want to welcome welcome Marcy to the our our kitchen today. Amazing to have you, and uh, yes, Kevin, it, it, it's going to taste good. So, uh, what are you all making for dinner tonight? What are you? Yeah. yeah, tell us in the chat here. We like to chat with you. So that's right. Eat the rainbow. You're right about that, Tina. The rainbow. And listen, I want to remind everybody, you're experts in your own life. And, right. you, and you all know that. But here's the thing. Sometimes we we get advice from others. And, and, and you and I have been getting tons of advice along the way. We've been getting our resources. We've been gathering. And that's the thing is we're experts in our lives. And we just, just want to share it. Because once you get this info, you just want to share it with people. That's and, true. We invite you to be experts in your lives and you're here now gaining some knowledge, having some fun with us, you know, why not? And uh, and we invite you to go out there and even seek more knowledge to stay healthy and yeah. well and boost your immune systems, yes. and, um, take care of yourselves in every which way. And starting with a plant-based meal is the way to go. So it's the way to go. every day, pick one meal a day if you're just starting out. Veganize your favorite recipes that you already love. So, like yeah. this was my favorite when I was a little girl. Yeah, there they put the cheese on there and melt it, and it was just it kind of just reminds me of grandma and my mom. So, just saying. Oh wait, look at this. Go ahead. I was gonna say I want to show you what. Oh, look what's look what Marcy's making. Satan, black bean spinach. I'm doing. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's see, Kevin said. Okay, we're making burritos using meatless ground from Trader Yes, the Trader Joe's is really good. They have some great alternative meats. Ooh, nice. Lentils. Okra is my husband loves okra, Tom. He just loves it. He loves okra. <laughs> That's great. You guys are making some great stuff. I'm going to have to come over and eat in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what We would be fun? We should do this. Okay. 
Oh, Dina. Lord, I'm nervous now. DM us if you want to join the show. Oh, oh that would be cool. I love it. Let's do it because we can that. add people. We can add people in. We should do that. Do it. DM us. Page or Sherry. Oh, that's a great hey, idea. I love actually, it. Actually, here's what we're going to do. If you okay, tell me. If you're an Instagrammer, go on our Instagram and DM us in the Instagram. Follow us and then DM us. That's right. Okay. Oh, if you're so we actually have a contest. <gasps> oh, <laughs> snap. <laughs> snap. We should you want to What's it going to be? What's the contest? I don't know. We should think of something, but whoever. Yeah. Okay, Here's we can figure that one out, but that's a good one. We can maybe do that next time. That would be fantastic. But these, who wants to be on the show with us? That's what we're going to do. You have to have a computer because we use StreamYard Chrome. But that's easy. Yeah. Yeah. And so first go to Instagram, DM us, and say, I want to be on the show. And follow, you're gonna us. Follow, us. follow us. Follow us. You're going to follow us and show us that what you want, what you made, what you've already made. Let's do that because we'll make something and we'll have some people show us what they made because some of these people already had dinner. So just save your save some of your dinner and then you can show us. Do you love this? I Come do. On. I think it's so cool. Come on, Tom. Come on, Marcy. Come on, Kevin. Come Let's on. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, who else is in? Spinach and kale. Mm, now forever. Mm -hmm. Debbie. Oh, Debbie's a regular. Come on, let's go. Oh, Debbie, wait, what did she say? She said they have shreds now. I didn't know that. Miyoko's has a new thing too, a, a spreadable oak milk cheese spread. Oh, I haven't seen that, but I haven't seen that. I haven't tried, I haven't, you know what? I haven't been eating a lot of the, uh, I'm trying to keep, you know, my process during the week. So I yeah. try to get as much natural greens if I can during yeah. the week. And then on the weekend is when I go, oh, I bust right out and go. Go for the gusto. You know, so. I, that's what that's what like badass vegan does. He has like he like he like fasts until whatever. Intermittent um, fasting, yes. Uh -huh. okay, intermittent fasting, and then he'll have like I think it's one day during the week, you know, a weekend that he'll you know. But during the week, it's all like working out, doing his thing, and then on the weekend, he celebrates. I yes. think one meal. I don't know. You know, yeah, so you know what? One good meal is, is really good. We have a great cool place here in Studio City. My husband and I love to go. We'll go there after we walk at the beach or something. And we'll go over there and get a nice meal. And just relax. And, yeah. you know, it's good to go someplace and get a good vegan meal when you're out. Yes. You know, so anyway. And support your vegan restaurants and check out um, Impactors. Also on Instagram, everybody, it's a full month long of supporting these vegan restaurants. And many of them are starting to close. And we oh, want to okay. them by, by promoting them and going and eating there. And I know it takes, you know, an extra effort to like leave your house, and maybe drive 20 minutes or, but you know, or 30 or whatever it takes. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, just whatever it takes. I'm just inviting you. It's an invitation. Yeah, that, would, that would be great. That would be great. We have, we have one taker. Look, Tina says, let's do it. Okay, yeah. Tina. <laughs> So reach out on Instagram. So you're going to follow us on Instagram, Plant Pace and the Burbs. So you're going to DM us. And if you don't have Instagram, well, join. Yeah, join Instagram. And follow us, even if you don't follow anyone else. You can go follow us. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm excited about that. And when are we going to do that show? Next week. Let's do it next week. We're going to do it next week. The next, next, the next Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how we do that. Okay, we'll just we go. okay, we're going for it. Don't you worry, Sherry. I got all those mechanics. We'll work them all out. Okay, but. cool, cool. I know you can. All right, everybody. I'm just so happy you guys came and uh, joined our kitchen. It was great having you here, you know, and I uh, wish you could sit down and have a meal with us. That would be fantastic because it's nothing like having people come into your kitchen and you're feeding them. I mean, that I grew up that way. My grandmother always was feeding people that came to our house. So that it's, it's just the way to do things, you know? So anyway, it's in your nature for sure is to cook for people it really is. So you guys have a beautiful, beautiful afternoon, day, wherever you are, morning. I don't know. Morning, <laughs> evening, night. I don't know. But well, anyway. thank you so much for watching with us and spread more love and more kindness and compassion. If you will, yeah. please eat more plants, right? Eat more plants. Yes, yes, yes. Bring about kindness and love, compassion and empathy for others. And let's spread that. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Starts with us. Each one of us. Yep. Yep.
We love you all so much. And Tom says, please watch uh, See Spiracy. I invite you to watch Galspiracy as well. Enjoy your week. Love you. Enjoy the rest of your week too. All right, y'all. See you next week. Reach out. Bye. Bye. Compassion is in fashion for sure. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> See y'all next time. Bye. Bye.